I'm Richard Bromley, the Mission Director of ICS, and I'm with Greg Harris. What's your title, Greg? Uh, I'm Greg Harris, and I'm the National Director of the Bush Church Aid Society, and you can tell from my accent, not in England, but in Australia. Brilliant. Uh, Greg, tell us something about what, well, who are the Bush Church Aid, what do you do? The easiest way to understand Bush Church Aid is just to reverse our name. So we are Bush Church Aid, and we're all about aiding the church in the bush. We want to see good gospel ministry right across the rural, the regional, and the very remote parts of Australia. So you are a partner agency, in fact, the partner agency of ICS. For 105 years. I know, it's brilliant to say. We don't look that old. <laughs> the links go right back. There's times when people in my role were told by the Archbishop of Canterbury to go to Sydney and serve there. So there's been this long historic link. Uh, and I enjoy, I went over five years ago and got to know some of the family of the, the ministry there. It's brilliant. ICS, the Intercontinental Church Society, is about mission and ministry in English for everyone. So we would have ministry in all sorts of parts of Europe, North Africa, uh, and, and wider, you know, Rio or Bangkok, where we are serving communities, and English might be their first language, second, third, fourth, fifth, but what we want is to see gospel ministry take place in a way that connects with people so that they can learn to think about the love of Christ. And that's our DNA, which I think has similarities, strong similarities to you guys. Very, very strong similarities. It, there's the same gospel imperative. We want to see people come to know the love and love the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to see them come to faith. And so there's exactly the same there. Uh, I guess our differences are you're wanting to minister to English-speaking people all across Australia, all across the world, um, we're just our is a geography in terms of we want to actually minister to people within Australia, um, not in the cities because there's so much good gospel ministry already going on in the cities, but we want to resource the gospel ministry in the rural and the regional and the remote parts. And what we've found as we've chatted is that while our ministries are very different, and you've got a continent that you're looking after, and ours is dispersed in all sorts of places, there's been some moments of real resonance where we thought, we, we face the same challenges there. And so what we do by way of our mission partners and the support and the conference, uh, we, it just sounds very similar. And I think my experience of being with you was, we, we are clearly partners, the, stuff, mm. the DNA is the same. Exactly, I, I would imagine that the challenges we face are almost the same. So. Uh, we face the challenge of continuing to enthuse and enlarge the supporter base, the next generation of the supporter base, um, plus also raising up gospel workers to go to these places for ministry. That would be the same for you, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Our biggest challenge is, is finding people, the right people, to go and serve in these amazing places, yes. Yeah. So Greg, tell us a bit about why you're here. And I know that on your journey here, you stopped off at a couple of places that we have ministry. Yeah, so one of the things we want to do is continue to build the relationship um, between uh, Bush Church Aid and ICS. And so when you and I spoke online a little while ago, I said, well, what would be some good examples of ICS ministries that I could see on my way over here so that we could meet? And uh, you suggested two places, Corfu and Zermatt, two very different ministries. It was so encouraging to see these ministries. Um, Corfu, uh, where there's uh, a permanent ministry there, uh, Jules and Trish um, got a chance to meet with them to talk to, to them about what's happening, but to hear about the chaplaincy work that works alongside and with them during the peak holiday periods. That was that was a really interesting idea of uh, using that time. And um, so that was encouraging to meet with them. Yeah. Uh, on the other end of the spectrum was Zermatt. And visiting, uh, not only was it different in terms of its uh, climate <laughs> and its geography, uh, but also that being a chaplaincy that no doubt you've had for a long time. Mm. And uh, the, the turnover and the roster system of chaplains going there yeah. was really encouraging to see that that ministry and what it's trying to achieve. 
So, um, Richard, one of the things I wanted to hear is, uh, when I came over here, was what excites you about the future of ICS? Uh, I think we're at a really fun pivot point because ICS over the last 11, 12 years since I've been around has stabilised, is doing good ministry, is respected, and I think we're at this moment where we can re-pivot towards church planting. It was in our DNA and it needs to be, again, the major focus. So over the next year or two, our supporters and our friends are going to hear more and more about church planting and finding new ways to engage people to say, this gospel just needs to bleed out to more and more people. So I hope that when I look at the ICS newsletter in 10 years time, church planting is all over it that's who we become that's such an exciting um challenge yeah, yeah. yeah. well done and so i want to throw the question back at you what are you most excited about i think the thing that i'm most excited about is similar uh is continuing to strategically direct bca to um do the things that we've done in the past, uh, continue to do them well. So supporting gospel ministries mm -hmm. in places which are unable to support themselves so that those in the country can have the same gospel um, uh, support and uh, grow in their faith like the brothers and sisters in the cities can. But also to try new things, to continue to grow the Indigenous support, uh, to be able to see the Indigenous people in Australia to be a mission force, yeah. not a mission focus. Yeah. Um, but also church planting is something that we've started to dabble in a little bit as well. Also, you might call call it um, repotting uh, as well as <laughs> planting. Uh, so trying to in, in, encourage and invigorate and, um, and ri raise up new um, ministries in churches that are already there. So yeah. there's some of the things that we're looking to try and continue to work on in the coming years. Greg, I'm really glad you're able to be over here with us and for us to catch up again. Thank you. It's great. Thank you so much. God bless.